Looks like Dang's men already made it here. How's that satellite uplink mean? Working. And you're right, satellite imaging shows Chinese secret police all throughout the parks. We're a little late. Steven, what's it looking like near the stage? It's a madhouse over here. But not in that fun, violent way. This should be interesting. I hope our friends actually show up on time. Could use the helm. You better hurry, Mike. Sung's giving a speech in less than an hour. Speech? Weren't we here just for the fireworks? Yes, Mike. That and a little thing called regional stability. I bet those explosives were controlled from here.
but those explosives are controlled from here. Contact so far. Awaiting your lead. Sure's
That was fun. Enemy reinforcements en route. Proceed with plan. We'll rendezvous when possible.
Buses back up. Hold up, Dang's man. Yeah. What's this?
to the stage. It's a straight shot from where you are. Show yourself. No. Your aim over your head. That is, 
considerate for a hired killer. What are you talking about? I'm not here to kill anybody. My sources were clear. Michael Thornton has come to Taipei to assassinate President Sun. Funny, my sources made it pretty clear you were here to kill him. Then your sources are mistaken. If you're not the assassin, See anybody? I tried to warn him. I sent him everything I had in the assassination attempt. Mike, emergency frequencies are reporting riots breaking out, and they're getting ugly. Additional security forces are en route. Of course they are. God forbid I get five minutes to figure this thing out. Come on, Dang. You're coming with me until we get to the bottom of this. We're clear. Mina, I'm patching Dang into our connection. Can you give us an update? Reports are still sketchy, but the news is saying Sung survived the attempt. He was wearing a bulletproof vest thanks to a tip from an anonymous source. He survived? I'm glad the information I passed to him did some good, at least. out there that really hate you, pal. Tell me something I don't know. So this VCI comes to me and he says to me, Steve, I got a proposition for you. Kind of busy here, Heck. Is there a point to this? So after I pop three of his fingers off for calling me Steve, I say, and what proposition might that be, my good man? Heck. This guy says to me, oh God, please don't kill me. I just came here to offer you five million dollars to give Michael Thornton up as Ronald Sung's assassin. Tell me you didn't. Not gonna lie, buddy. I was really tempted for a minute there. But I kinda like you, so I told him to piss off. Then I set him on fire to make sure he got the point. <laughs> I imagine that sends a message pretty loud and clear. I figured his cronies would probably try and find somebody less scrupulous than myself. So I went ahead and called the news stations. Should keep them off your back for a while. I appreciate that. Hey, no problem, buddy. I want to lay low for a while, but I'll be in touch. Be seeing you, Mike searching for a man called Wen Shu in connection with the attack. Government sources have told INN that Wen Shu is a Taiwanese national with no previous criminal record. The nature of his involvement remains to be seen. That should buy me a little time to get out of Taipei. Better get moving. And so this is the result of your efforts in Taipei. Chaos in the streets, an assassination attempt against the president of Taiwan. Well done. There was gonna be unrest no matter what I did. Just an attempted assassination would be enough to create a panic. But with Sung alive, there's at least a chance of reining it in. Now you're beginning to understand. I admit, the lack of an identified assassin might slow things down, but the people already believed the assassin was a Chinese agent. Omen Deng's escape won't stop the push for independence from growing stronger. You managed to escape Taipei undetected, largely because of an anonymous tip identifying a man called Wen Shu as the attempted assassin. Stephen Heck's work, I trust? He may be a little bit crazy, but he came through. You have a knack for engendering trust. 
A useful skill for an intelligence agent. Must be my winning personality. That's all you cared about then? Destabilizing Taipei? You should pay more attention to global politics, Agent Thornton. If Taipei pushes for independence, the People's Republic will prepare for war. If China prepares for war, so does the U.S. And millions of people die so you can secure a weapons contract or two. War is good for business, Mike. Cold War is even better. Mike. Is it odd, seeing me in person? I could ask the same thing. It's not odd for me. Well, not after everything we've gone through. And what have we gone through, exactly? I came here because we're out of time. Taipei, Rome, Moscow. As far as the agency is concerned, they've been resolved to Halbeck's satisfaction. Perhaps not ideally, but Halbeck's projections are optimistic. So they don't even know they're starting a war? Not yet. First, they'll delete Alpha Protocol and erase everything associated with it. And that means you. Hey, they haven't done a great job so far, so don't worry about me. I am worried about you. I can't shut it off. For them, it's a lot more simple. If Alpha Protocol is erased, then you're erased. Whatever life you had will be gone. You'll be rogue forever. Until someone finds you and kills you. And I can't let that happen to you. Then I say we bring them down before they get the chance. They don't know about you, Mina. And they certainly don't know me. It's more No, it is that simple. Trust me. And if they've got Halbeck on their side, then they're doubly screwed. Mina, we're going to get through this. Mike. I mean it. We're going to be all right. <sighs> I still don't see how you can say that. Oh, I don't believe it. But we've been doing all right so far. If Halbeck isn't exposed, if Alpha Protocol isn't exposed... Or both. Then they'll think they've won. Until the war begins. Then everybody loses. Why do you keep doing it, Mike? Is it because you want to see Halbeck answer for what it did? Or were you just following orders? I did it for a woman. She just happened to be in my ear the whole time. I read your dossier, Mike. You always try to do what's right, as long as you can act on your own. So I saved you from the missile and helped you go rogue. And I purposely cut you off from Westridge. So who are you really working for? I can't tell you, Mike. But they want to prevent what's about to happen. And seeing programs like Alpha Protocol dragged out into the open so they can be shut down. Even if they hurt the United States? Alpha Protocol isn't the United States, Mike. And if stopping Alpha Protocol prevents World War III, then it's in the world's interests, not ours. So, we have to save the world while the whole world is out to get us. I have to love those odds. It could be worse. Although I'm not sure how. You've been a guardian angel to me, Mina. Thanks. It was the least I could do. No, you could have left me in Saudi Arabia. You didn't. I won't forget it. So... All I have to do is find a top-secret facility located in God knows where, defeat the folks that trained me, along with a battalion of agents and marines, recover the evidence of an international conspiracy, and, oh, prevent World War III. I... think that about sums it up. Yes, I better get started then. But first, you better get to safety. Mike, I want to help. I can return to Alpha Protocol. But I had to warn you first. I can still help you from the inside. No, it's too dangerous. You need to get to safety. What are you going to do? Call in a few favors. If Alpha Protocol thinks it's the only one with an army, they're in for a shock. World War III is it on the horizon. A recent European Union study published by the Scarpacci Group, a Rome-based political think tank, lists 37 points of concern, including a sharp upswing in terrorist activity in the past month, the assault on the United States Embassy in Moscow, and China's increasing mobilization in the wake of Taiwanese independence rallies as evidence that a global conflict of unprecedented proportions may be closer than we think. In financial news, Halbeck in...
You're late. I almost thought you'd stood me up. I'll forgive you, if you have a good reason. I have several bad ones, but I'll spare myself the humiliation. I got held up. Really? I wasn't sure I was going to see you again after Taipei. How could I stay away? You tell me. But since you're obviously here for business, let's hear it and get it out of the way. I have a story for you. It might shed some light on that incident with the airliner in the Middle East. Are you trying to use me, Mike? There you go, throwing away a valuable friendship. I don't have many friends left, so you may be safer that way. Playing safe's not my style, Mike. My offer stands. Interested? Your offer is on the record, I hope. Wouldn't have it any other way. No conditions? Only that I need you to stay alive long enough to get it to the right people. You've got my attention. Thought I might.
the hell? I guess the old man gave me a false number. Communications decrypted. Signal established. Albatross. Your signal's weak. I can barely see you. Agent Thornton, Mike, my apologies for the poor connection. It's the price one pays for privacy. I can only spare a few minutes, so tell me what you need, quickly. Uh, all right. Is that a plane in the background? Time is short, Agent Thornton. All right, never mind. I'm calling because I need your help. With what? And what kind of help? All right. I'm calling because I'm planning to infiltrate the Alpha Protocol facility. If you think I know the location of the facility, I can't help you. I can get there. What I need is whatever intel or manpower you can provide once I'm inside. If you can get in and transmit the location. But once you transmit the coordinates, you'll need to buy yourself some time before I can intervene. May I ask why you're infiltrating the agency? It seems counterproductive, not to mention the low chance of success. I have to do this, and I have to find out the truth of what's going on there. I can pay you for your help, Albatross. You don't need to pay me, Mike. An alliance with you and your continued survival has proven to be in my best interests. When I was at Braco's mercy, you chose to intervene. I've not forgotten. And you spared Sis when you had no reason to do so. Now it is my turn to help you. You're not getting compassionate in your old age, are you? Consider it a payment for services rendered. One doesn't kill the golden goose. Or an albatross. Seems doing both would be... unwise. I would agree. Once you reach your destination, we shall prove it. Until then, I shall ensure the south wind is at your back. Enjoy your flight. I'll see you soon. Welcome, Agent Thornton. This is the meeting I spoke of long ago in Saudi Arabia, I believe. I have much to share with you. Is it about Halbeck? A portion of it is, yes. The rest concerns its partner, your Alpha Protocol program. But that, that will cost you. I don't have much more to give, Shahid. And I did spare your life before. You know as well as I do. These events that Helbeck has set in motion, they are not well researched. They are conflicts. And then there are wars. But they have started. It is a fire that will sweep the globe. And that concerns you. When these events will make my country suffer more than it deserves? Yes. And when another may shoulder the rightful blame? Again, yes. Rightful blame. Indeed. Are you prepared to betray your own country, Agent Thornton? When I speak of blame, it is the United States that is the one responsible for these events. I'm not betraying my country, and certainly not for you. Is Alpha Protocol your country? Or is it one of its lies under the guise of the United States? Halbeck's my enemy, not the United States, or whoever Alpha Protocol claims to be working for. And if they are the same thing? Then you don't understand the situation. I do, more than you, I think. But, you have come for help, or simply to call a favor due. I have information that should be of use to you in hurting Halbeck. Accounts, transactions, and knowledge of their involvement with your program. And of course, the missile codes you asked for. Although I fail to see what use they are to you. That's a start. A start? Yes. I need you to broadcast something for me. I have a suspicion that's going to cause quite a stir where I'm headed.
take care of what you had to do. Everything's in place. How about you? It shouldn't be much longer. Are you safe? Probably safer than you. Mike, if this doesn't work... Goodbye, me. Mind if I sit here? Go ahead. You'll save me from having to call in the squad. All done running? Never was. Yeah, well, whatever you call it, I'm here to bring you in. Glad you're not making a fuss about this. I called you, remember? So, here we are, Agent Thornton. Guess you can go home again. If by home you mean prison. Mr. Westridge first spoke to you in this room, didn't he? Interrogated, actually. It was a really dull conversation. When he asked you why you volunteered for Alpha Protocol, do you remember what you told him? It was my duty. I wanted to serve my country. I want to serve my country. And you think by being a scientist is the best way to fix that? Give me a mission, me a mission. I'll prove it. Does it feel good being a patriot now, Mike? Looking back, everything you did for your country, was it worth it? Because they're not going to do a damn thing for you. They left you out to dry. That's the nature of this place. You'll have to excuse me, but I asked for this next part to be recorded for posterity. I wanted to make sure it's captured perfectly. It was worth it. I'm gonna see this mission through, Leyland. Henry. I'm gonna see you arrested for those people you killed and see that Halbeck answers for its crimes. Really? Count on it. All right, Thornton. I suppose you're bored of these questions anyway. Frankly, so am I. So if there's nothing else... In Saudi Arabia, someone gave away my coordinates, tried to kill me. They did it for you. Who helped you? I'm sorry? Who was the mole? Mike, who wasn't the mole? If anyone betrayed you, I think the betrayal wasn't what you think it was. It allowed you to survive, when in fact, you should have died there with Shaheed. And that, Agent Thornton, is the truth. So when you think back on that explosion in Rome, Sung's presidency in danger, the riots in Taipei, cutting off my weapons trafficking in Moscow, and that airliner and its passengers burning to death as they hit the ground. And then you killing the only man who could have testified to my involvement, Ali Shaheed. The truth died with him. I've set the world on a new course. Helbeck's numbers are going to skyrocket. Our technology will be part of every military contract and army in the world. Of course, you've got it all figured out. After all, Leyland, you know everything, right? If this is another one of your bluffs, Thornton, then lay your cards on the table. I can't say I care for that tone of yours. I take responsibility for what happened at the museum. But the way you tried to set Omen and I up in Taipei, I don't think you realized we'd actually talk before we killed each other. I know who's behind your weapons trafficking in Moscow. I know about your connection to Surkov and how Breko was set up to take the fall. If you think Shahid is dead, why don't you just wait until his next video broadcast? Shahid? But you killed him. The missile on the convoy. Oh, the one that didn't kill me, either? Leyland, come on. It's taken you this long to realize you made a mistake? You don't know what you've done. All these plans of yours aren't going to cause a cold war, they're going to cause a real one. And I know that's something you don't want. Spare me your lectures, Thornton. You're a civil servant, while I run a multinational company. Your evaluations of world events... <laughs> please. This conversation has outlived its usefulness, I think. Although, one last thing I'm curious about. Since you have every angle covered, 
What happened to that footage, Mike? The one of the airliner you had in your possession? It's safe. Oh, you mean with Scarlet? What? You mean safe with Scarlet. That's who you gave it to. I didn't say that. No, she did when we asked. She's here, you know. She was resistant at first, but, well... If you hurt her... I'll have her tortured if I have to. Make no mistake about it. Who knows what sorts of secrets she could reveal. But enough about her. You've lost all your efforts for nothing. You can't stop us. If you say so, who am I to contradict you? You're a confident man, Agent Thornton. But there's no place for you to run now. Soon, all trace of this facility will be erased, and you along with it. After all, it never really existed in the first place. Leyland? Hmm? What is it? I haven't forgotten my mission. I'm gonna see that you answer for what happened to the people on that airliner. And only I'm leaving this place alive. Amusing. Not really. Well then, you'd best get to it, Mr. Thornton. You have an hour. I look forward to your efforts. Agent Thornton, allowing yourself to be captured, making us go through the effort of bringing you here. Well done. It's gonna be nothing compared to the coup de grace. Hope you're ready for it. Yes, yes. After all, what kind of chief of security would I be if I wasn't considering my options? Well, I confess I'm disappointed things ended like this. I was hoping to convince you to work for us. If not Outback, then the VCI. But that would depend on you. Yeah, and I was hoping you might kiss my ass. But it looks like that'll have to wait for another hour or two. <gasps> That's uh, very amusing. I don't expect I'll see you again, Agent Thornton. Your mission ends here. Sorry, sir, but we have our orders. When they administer the meds, the end will be quick.
cavalry. Drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Damn, which one? Last chance, guys. Back up your files. Looks like I've got a message. Big one. What the hell are all these files? Recordings? Agent Thornton, I have been attempting to reach you without success. Oh, man. Well, I've been preoccupied. I am calling to warn you and to ask for your assistance. After the attack on President Sung, we analyzed the camera footage from the security systems and from news crews attending the rally. This footage is attached. The woman you were traveling with, Scarlet Lake. Do you know her well? Uh-oh. We have several recordings that show her with a sniper rifle at the rally. She was well hidden, but she was unable to mask her presence entirely. She is the one who attempted to assassinate President Sung. Do whatever checks you need to do on the footage. We are convinced of her role in this. She must answer for this. But we have been unable to find her or reach you. I do not believe you had a hand in this, Agent Thornton, and I trust you will do what is right. But if you are responsible, there is nowhere you both can hide from me.
you're telling me. I think they're washing the place clean. That means they're doing the same with the data as well. You'll need to get to the surface quickly. Telling me. I think they're washing the place clean. That means they're doing the same with the data as well. You'll need to get to the surface quickly.
or you'll lose what little help you have. We still need the data off those servers. Get someone to recover it. set those charges. Keep an eye out for Thornton. He's still around here. Detonation charges. Detonation charges. Only a few minutes. If the timer hits zero... I know, I know. In minutes, I'll, to this I'll see if I can take control of these security turrets. Got it. If you can herd them into view, the auto turret should help take them out. Would you leave me alone already? I've got work to do.
gather our support. Of course. Otherwise it would have been too easy. Head for the wreckage. Some G-22 may have survived. If not, there may be supplies. This runs for you. This is the real deal. Keep him busy. I'll be back in a second. The only way out is here. Come on now. Come on, you gave more trouble when he first showed up here.
Yeah. Do you know him? His father. Yes. This may have repercussions.
Note, ETA on arrival, please. I have appointments I need to keep. I don't know what Thornton's game is, but he needs to be stopped. He escaped custody and he's coming for us. I need an escort out of here now. Give it up, Leyland. Thornton, it seems I underestimated you. Yeah, that's one of your talents. It's your choice, prison, or I kill you right here. No, the choice is yours, Agent. I'm leaving. I suggest you do the same. There you are! Transport I detected earlier. How hard is it to kill one man? Base are going fast. Stop Leyland before he escapes. On it. Agent, what's the matter? Thornton, things get too stressful for you. You've got a useful pawn, Thornton. They almost what is a quarter capacity? <sighs> the coward shows himself.
Just a little payback. Please, Agent, don't be a fool. How dare you hit me? That's my life. I can keep this up all day. Now, tell me what else I can't do. You think you can give me orders? Think you have control of this situation? Thornton, hold on. I... I'll give myself up. Testify, if that's what you want. I can say what happened here, with your mission. And all I have to do is let you go, right? See, that's where you lose my interest. Goodbye, Lil. Thornton, please. I can pay you. Can't say I'll be sad to leave this place. Although knowing where here is would be nice. Guess there's not much else to do except head out and see what happens. Story of my life. No sense changing it now. Then again, maybe losing myself for a while might not be so bad. Now the only challenge is to keep from getting bored. At least now I've got time to figure it out, and maybe change a few things about the world while I'm at it. More setbacks for troubled Halbeck Industries today as Russian Federal Police uncovered extensive evidence linking the corporation's senior officers to illegal arms trafficking. This setback comes on the heels of a mysterious disappearance of Halbeck CEO Henry Leland, who vanished from his San Francisco office earlier this month. American law enforcement is cooperating with Interpol to locate him. Along with the indictments against Halbeck, several prominent Muscovite politicians and business leaders have been arrested in connection with the scandal. A series of coordinated bombings in the West Bank left hundreds dead earlier today, in an attack carried out by the Al-Samad terror network. In a video statement claiming credit for the attack, 
Al-Samad leader Ali Shahid said that these attacks would continue until Al-Samad's demands were met, demands which include a complete pullout of American troops from the entirety of the Islamic world. The attacks were carried out using a sophisticated new explosive gel, originally developed for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to clear mountain passes and demolish bridges. The gel is largely undetectable to current-generation chemical bomb sniffers, and even dogs will have to be retrained to identify the explosive. Analysts predict that if terrorist organizations like Al-Samad have acquired large quantities of this weapon, they could conceivably attack extremely high-security targets with impunity, at least until updated security measures can be implemented. The Mideast Unity Conference, currently being held in Riyadh, has been postponed indefinitely in the wake of this tragedy. On the one-month anniversary of the Roman Museum bombing, thousands turned up for a candlelight vigil in memory of the fallen. Leading the crowd was Madison St. James, an American woman who very nearly died in the attack. Miss St. James has become a striking political figure in the previous weeks, having spoken at the EU headquarters in Strasbourg, the U.S. Senate, and the Mideast Unity Conference in Riyadh. She has called for reforms in anti-terror legislation, citing sweeping human rights violations that are ultimately ineffectual at combating terrorism. Uncertainty still grips Taiwan in the wake of the deadly riots at last month's political rally. With the death toll standing at over 300, concerns have been raised that President Ronald Tsung's pro-independence government has become too aggressive. President Tsung survived an assassination attempt during the rally, which many critics are calling an attempt to incite a war between Taiwan and mainland China. President Tsung has refused to back down in the wake of the attempt on his life, and in a speech made earlier this week declared that his life meant nothing compared to Taiwanese independence. Taiwanese authorities announced the execution of attempted assassin Wen Shu today. Investigators have uncovered no motive for the assassination attempt. A copy of Catcher in the Rye, a novel famously associated with conspiracy theories and secret American brainwashing programs, was found in his apartment, leading to internet speculation that Wen Shu was an American sleeper agent planted to assassinate Sung and touch off a war with China. U.S. government sources have declined comment.